Mr. Higgins, um, it took us a long time to get some of our senior staff clearances. Um, we had a three-star general that couldn't get an SCI completed until, when, when was it? When the hearing was noticed. <laughs> right? Shortly before the hearing is noticed, we get the final set of clearances that we need. Can you assure us that that won't happen in the future? We'll probably have additional folks that need to be cleared. This is a comedy between the branches that you all have done good work on in the past. And I just, it's one of the things, again, we've been trying to move this along. Now we have the minority saying we're too slow, but we didn't have clearances for staff members in a timely fashion. Yeah, uh, we will commit to working with you to make the clearance process work as smoothly as possible. I'm happy to explain in more detail if you like the various, what CIA's limited role is in the clearance process and why it's taken as long as it has in a few instances. Um, but the bottom line is we will work with you to clear individuals as quickly as possible. I appreciate that. And if in the case that we're doing something wrong, that we don't have the information for you, you need to get our folks clearances, we are happy to expedite that as well. But the executive branch sat for far too long and prevented this committee from taking on the task that we have been charged with. And so we hear the minority today talk about it, but the executive branch prevented us from having access to information and having staff people have, have having access to information that was necessary for us to execute this inv investigation the way these families deserve. Yeah. Usually when clearances have taken longer uh, than we would like or you would like, it's because necessary information to adjudicate staff access to sensitive compartmented information, which is the limited piece that CIA does, was not provided, uh, and we either had to come back to the committee or go to our interagency partners. We've worked through that. I think our security officers and the committee security officer now have a good understanding of how we can move clearances forward uh, in an expeditious fashion. Thank you. Mr. Higgins, have you received any document requests from the minority on this committee? No, I have not. Have you received any witness requests from the minority on this committee? Uh, no requests independent from the request that we received this morning. Uh, Mr. Rubin, have you received any document requests from the minority on this committee? Uh, we have not, sir. Have you received any witness requests from the minority in this committee? Uh, similar to Mr. Higgins. So response. this, 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 this today, this is fascinating to watch Mr. Schiff and Mr. Cummings talk about us being too slow. You've seen all the impediments that have been put in our way, whether it was clearances or priorities or documents we can't get our hands on. They claim that they want to get, Mr. Mr. Cummings says, um, I want to make sure we complete a fact-finding investigation. He hasn't asked for a single fact, not one. It must be the case that he believes every fact has been determined, that every relevant line of inquiry has been completed, that there is not a single witness left in the universe to be interviewed. The minority complains they've been shut out. They haven't asked for a single thing that they have not been granted by an incredibly gracious Chairman Gaddy with respect to a witness that they wanted to call before this committee or a document they sought from any group within the executive branch. The hypocrisy to come today and say we are both moving too slow and asking for too much is something the American people will get to judge as we move forward. But I can assure you, I can assure you that everyone on this committee, and I hope the minority will join in this effort in a serious way as well, we're going to ask questions. And it may be the case, as Mr. Smith said, we won't get to all of the answers that we would like to get to, but we're going to work at it. We're going to take this charge seriously, and I hope the minority will participate as well. They, they talk about us being too slow, and yet they act as if their job is to play defense, right, to stop us from engaging in this inquiry, not participate in it, not say, Mr. Chairman, I think we ought to ask this witness questions X, Y, and Z. Mr. Chairman, might it be possible that we could obtain documents from the, this particular group? No, rather, they simply act as if they are the break on this this agency or this committee's investigatory work as if their sole role is to claim that this investigation is political and not to participate we still have men and women out in the world who are engaged in important intelligence collection activities and keeping america safe we have an obligation to make sure this committee gets it right and i hope the minority in this committee will begin to take that role seriously, that they will participate actively, that they too will seek witnesses and documents and information such that when we get done, they too will be able to sign the report. I would love nothing more than to have a bipartisan report that gets to all the facts, but if the minority continues to believe that their role is to play fullback to our efforts to block everything we do, not to clear the way, but rather to obfuscate, I suspect uh, we'll end up in a place where uh, we get a good factual report but the American people don't get the full resolution that they deserve. 